Okay, John, let me ask you another question that has to do with some of your voting in the past. Did you vote for uh, the bill that legalized same-sex marriage? No. I mean, that de I mean, decriminalized, or what am I trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> that uh, made it illegal to have same-sex marriage. Did you vote to make it illegal to have same-sex marriage? You did? Mm -hmm. So you're anti-gay. Those are two different things. Come on. <laughs> they are two different things? How are they two different things? No, I voted, uh, uh, there's been legislation that had been uh, pushed through the House, not all the not passed, and, uh, and against the discrimination. We can't hear you. Discrimination. Can you the microphone, please? Can you move up? <laughs> okay, well, let me, ask you, let me ask you this. How would you vote on this? Uh, I think another question that's coming up is going to require that women uh, contemplating abortion have a sonogram. How are you going to vote on that? I would vote for that. You would vote for them to have to have a sonogram? Well, it's not have to have, but it, it says, but what the law that has been first says is that they will require the people to tell the lady, hey, will you take a sonogram? And the woman's not going to be pushed for that, but they will tell the woman, will you take a sonogram? Do you have that opportunity? So you would not vote to require them to have a sonogram? That's not what the law... I'm the not papers. asking you that. I'm, I'm asking you that if that came up in the legislature that says that a woman is required to have a sonogram before she can have an abortion, would you vote for that bill? I would vote for a bill that would require the doctor to offer the sonogram. That's what I voted for. Okay. All right. And uh, would you vote to... Uh, would you vote to... Uh, uh, Name me one significant piece of legislation that you sponsored and has your name on in the time that you have been in the legislature. You know, I'm really glad you asked that question. Okay. I'm really glad you asked it because a lot of times people don't realize that. House Bill 3, I led some real strong efforts on making sure, and this is about bringing the black and brown caucuses together, making sure that kids don't get tracked in our schools. That just didn't happen. It wasn't my legislation. We fought that bill. When you're in Austin, you just don't pass legislation. You also work on legislation that's coming through, try to make it better, or try to get rid of it. Okay. So I'll just give you another example. No, you need, you need to. You, know, you asked me the question. I'll give you another example. We have a state school in Richmond. A few years ago, an amendment was added to the bill. It wasn't my bill. That would have allowed privatization of state schools in Texas. Gladys Conner, who was one of my constituents, came to me and said, Mr. Olivo, they did that, you need to do something. The next morning I went in there, gathered some Republicans and Democrats together, and we came up with an amendment saying it's got to be 25% cost savings if you want to privatize. Guess what? We passed the amendment. Didn't have my name on it. There's a lot of other examples like that, okay. that things that I worked on. So that's, and I have, House Bill 171 has got a lot of media attention this lifetime, and the, the tax legislation, it wasn't my bill that passed, but my word in is in there because I worked on that legislation for many years, and there's okay. a lot of other issues I worked on. Okay, all right. We need to move on.